The kingdom of God within us is the fruit of the Spirit. We need to travail to give birth to that fruit being formed and manifesting in the body of Christ. Jesus died so he could live in us as agape love. He is interceding and travailing to give birth to his image being formed in us so he can come back for us when it is formed as agape, the fruit of the character of God. The word waters the seed of love planted in us by his spirit and it springs forth as the fruit that he is. As we sing praise and worship, the fruit of the spirit grows in us for it is singing light that causes all creation. The Holy Spirit is singing the song of God's heart within our spirit, causing us to be watered gardens for the seed of his fruit, agape love, to be planted in. As he sings, he purges and cleanses the garden of all sin and self, makes room for his fruit to grow, so he gets bigger and bigger within us, finally bursting forth as light out of our spirit man and clothing us totally with himself. The outer clothing comes from the inner filling of us with him to overflowing. As we love him in praise and worship, he plants more of the seeds of who he is in us, as in a marriage relationship, the fruit of his spirit. They are watered and given birth to by intercession and travail and brought forth supernaturally out of our spirit. The fruit of my spirit grows out of your love for me. As you praise, worship, love, adore me, you yield more and more to me and choose me to live instead of you. And I am formed in you as the fruit and grow bigger and bigger, bursting forth from you as light. So no one sees you anymore, but only me. Praying in the spirit for yourself waters the seeds of the fruit of the Spirit within you and helps them to grow. It is the word in us, seeds of it, that grows into the fruit of the Spirit. This is why we have to have the word on each fruit planted deeply and grafted in us to come forth and manifest in reality in our life. Jesus must abide in us as the word of love, joy, peace, etc., to produce who he is as these fruit within us. The word must come first for everything before it can manifest into the natural. The fruit of the Spirit is the result of our marriage relationship to our bridegroom, as we would give birth to children in a natural marriage. The fruit is the spiritual fruit of the union of our spirit man with the Holy Spirit who plants the seed of who he is in our spirit and then gives birth to it in us as we continue to surrender and yield to him in our spirit as a bride or wife would physically to a bridegroom or husband in a marriage. Jesus, as the engrafted word, is engrafted or planted in our spirit as the seed of the fruit of who he is and he comes forth from the heart of his bride who is surrendered and yielded to him as love, joy, peace, etc.